Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. So today, I got a special little challenge. I only have about half an hour, but I'm gonna try out this cheap Amazon rat lure. I've seen that some people have some really good success with, uh, you know, rat lures. And I was like, man, I really don't feel like spending, you know, 50 to to $100 on something I'm gonna use probably a couple of times. But I was like, man, but I really want to give one a try. So I found this guy on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So let's get out there. I only have probably about half an hour before it gets dark. Let's see if we can get a fish on this today, guys. Got him on the rat lure. Oh no, it came off. No. Oh my goodness. I doubt I get that again today. Very first time out with the rat lure, guys. Oh goodness. That dude was running right at me. I couldn't keep up with him. That sucks. I will get more on this rat lure, I can tell you that right now. It'll probably take a few times going out with this thing and I'll finally figure out a pattern how to get bit with this. More than likely, it's probably gonna have to be like the chatterbait or the spinnerbait. It's something that's gonna have to be thrown parallel down the bank. Cause I mean, most of the time you see any kind of animal that falls in the water, right? They're always looking for the bank. So more than likely, it's gonna be something that's gonna get hit close to the bank. Sucks is I really didn't get a good hook set on that guy. I wasn't necessarily paying attention. I noticed some stuff busting to my left and as I was looking, that, that dude slurped it up. No way. Dude. <laughs> the first fish on the rat lure. <laughs> Dude, that was a tiny little guy. I was stuck in the weeds. He was literally sitting on the bank, came up out of the bank and grabbed it. I thought it was a frog. That is awesome. Boom, first fish, just a little like 12 inch fish. Oh, bye. Oh, there was another one. I can't believe it, I'm getting caught up in this grass and there's bass coming out from underneath of this pad. That's so weird. As soon as that thing landed, I saw one dart out for it. Those fish were sitting so close to the bank. I mean, damn near on the bank. 
definitely like to follow this thing because I can literally see the weight come up behind it. You been doing any good this year so far? So she ends up using chunks of bluegill. I finally got one on the rat lure today. That's a rat lure? What in the world? That's crazy. Yeah, I had one. I hit. I, I had one on last night. I was like, ah, and it came off right at the bank. So I was like, eh, I'm a, I hit that other that end one and I finally got one on. And it was a dink, I couldn't believe it. it. I can't even get the bass to bite right now. Like I'll see them uh, swimming, they won't go after me. Crank ba crankbaits, man, square bills. It seems like it changes from year to year, they learn. I'm literally just making a fast loop around this thing. Oh man, here comes some more rain. What sucks is the, the, the rain makes it worse for this because breaking the surface, you want this to be the only thing that they see breaking the surface as it wakes across the top. I don't necessarily care about getting wet. I just don't want it to be windy, don't want it to be rainy. Oh, there's one. Got him. <laughs> Another one. Ha ha! Another dink. Told you, man. <laughs> Boom. Got another one. Huh. Dink wanted it. Now the dink, too. It's just, it's just awesome to catch them on the rat. It'd be awesome if I had a bow fin come up and just smack the rat. Just a nice, slow, steady roll. Letting that thing do, you know, do its thing. Good luck to you, man. Nice seeing you. No, oh, no. I'm gonna start raining hard. Of course. Whoa. That was something huge. I wonder if there's bass up in here eating bluegill or something. Oh, there was one right underneath the bank. Got him. Look at that, bam! Another one on the rat lure. Shamecked it. I knew when I saw a fish go flying out that he would be close by. Another one on the rat lure. We're gonna super close to the bank. I don't know, the bank's one. Oh, he's even blind in one eye. And he got the right lure. We're bang. And, well, definitely glad I came out today. Super successful. And at that time, I was actually jerking it a little bit, trying to give it more of an erratic action. But I was still working it pretty close to the bank. Definitely a lot more active day today for fish. 
I would say that's mostly because of the weather. Yesterday was a super sunny day, calm as can be, no wind. Today is rainy, windy, nasty, low barometric pressure. It makes a fish bite. And that's definitely proved itself. Weather matters. You just gotta be able to adapt to each situation. This is just so, happened to be working in my favor. See, every once in a while I give it a little tug to make it look a little more erratic, like it's uh, struggling. 